What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. Today is Monday the 7th of December and I am down in Essex. Today is uh, the beginning of a little Christmas present, if pardon the pun, as my car today is finally gonna get wrapped. When I bought this car, I obviously loved it in white and still do love it in white with the black roof because that is what the Bicolori is all about. However, I wanna make something a little bit more exclusive, maybe a one-off um, on the Bicolori. I always wanna keep it as OEM as possible, so factory as possible so I'm going to try and pick a colour that is as close to a Lamborghini factory paint colour as possible. We're going to head over to Dub Customs now, check out some of the materials that they've got um, and also the material that I've ordered for this car and then this is going to be the process of this car getting wrapped. So we're down at Dub Customs now and I'm with Dan who is one half of the Dub Twins yep. and um, today we're going to talk about all of the various different aesthetic changes that we can do to the car including the main colour change. Yeah. So we're going to go with Arlon Blood Red, which is a really deep metallic colour, probably the deepest metallic candy-ish red yeah. that you yeah. can get, which is the one thing that I wanted to make sure, because in vinyl wraps, some of the colours aren't as deep or as metallic, and this one is really, yeah. really it's a nice finish. deep. So I'm excited yeah. for that. But Dan is going to talk about some of the more detailed parts of the car, what we can do, what we can play around with, because obviously you've wrapped 560s before. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Come, camera, come closer. <laughs> <laughs> right, so where do we begin? Obviously, you want all of the body. Yeah, so all of the white, white. red. Red. Wheels, I always think, if the, if the car is gloss or metallic, then the wheels need to go like satin. So it's a contrast. To, to break, yeah, yeah, a bit of a yeah. contrast. But what do you think? Do you think, do you think gloss black? We could play about with it, if, with Photoshop as an idea, I'm sure. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. Photoshop, Photoshop is a godsend. Yeah, maybe we can ask Sam about that. He's, <laughs> yeah. he's good at that. Yeah, Sam, um, get on Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, perhaps maybe we could we can look at that. But um, personally, I'd, I'd go black wheels. Black wheels. Every, everyone's been saying exactly. black wheels, but um, black wheels. Oh yeah, I definitely want to do black wheels. And the good thing is, with the way that Dub Customs powder coat the wheels, is it's completely reversible, and you can put it back to oh, yeah, and you can put it back to factory. So yeah. when the car comes to being sold. It's not going to have black wheels, it's actually going to have back this to the original. Back to the original. Yeah, yeah. So when you open the car, when I had the RA, I opened my car, when I opened it and it was wrapped, yeah. it was silver inside. Yeah. So well, normally you can like sort of wrap up to here and stuff, but yeah. you're saying that... We doing, do the door shut. Doing the door shut. Especially with the contrast between the reds and the, and the white, it just look, just stand out too much. Yeah. So it would look pretty shut. awful actually. <laughs> you couldn't live with it, to be honest. So yeah, definitely Perfect. do that. That's, that's pretty cool. So you're going to, okay, so you're going to, you're going to strip the car. Strip the car, mirrors Fiercy. come off, yeah. so there's no joins, uh, which you see in some some cars, but yeah, yeah they're all stripped and Perfect. done And, nice. and um, what else was I going to say? Uh, oh, first thing you need to do is, unfortunately, wash it, because yeah. <laughs> it's filthy. <laughs> I was up in Manchester and Leicester yesterday, so um, yes. it's I've already quite explained bad. why you need to clean the car, because otherwise you get all of the dirt underneath, scratches the paint, but then it also gives air bubbles and yeah, gives just it an awful finish. You need to but we'll clay it and make sure it's nice and clean. Well, perfect. And, uh, yeah. I'm excited. This is like an early good. Christmas present. Yeah. So I'm wrapping my car, but I'm just not unwrapping Maybe it. Maybe you have to unwrap it for Christmas. No, no, no. Oh, I can't, unwrap, sure. can't unwrap it for Christmas. <laughs> I'm not going to make it white. Yeah. <laughs> good stuff. Perfect. Um, yeah. Can we, let's go in and have... Is the material here? Yeah, the material's there. Let's go and have a look. Yeah. Oh, I think I can see it. Is that it? It's in the box. Is that it, or is that a different red? That's the 3M red. That's, That's the 3M red. Mm. We, won't, we, won't, <laughs> we won't put that in the video. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get it out. That's just... <gasps> That's so There's heavy. a lot of it. It's so heavy. It's a full log <gasps> of material. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, it's slipping. I'm not very good at this. I shouldn't wrap cars. So as you can see, still to be stripped, we are taking the front, well I'm not, they are, taking the front bumper off so that they can get in and around the clear indicators here. And as you can see, it'll almost be impossible to get the material in, uh, meaning that there'll be some white showing, which is not what we want on this wrap. And as you can see here, this is the door shuts getting done absolutely perfectly. Looks so good in person. Looks a little bit redder on camera, but hopefully once the whole car is done and it's outside in natural light, we can get a really good 
feel for the car. And then round the back, you can see where they've actually tailed off the black paint on the Bicolore. They've just sort of like gone, yeah, that's enough, um, because they've had to strip all of this back so that we can get in places like here and all around here so that everything is red and there is no white showing. Because I've seen Aventadors where they've wrapped up until these sorts of lines and they're not gone in and you can still see the actual factory color underneath. So it almost looked trond. Oh, oh, okay. And then around the back, yeah, we've got this panel missing. We've also taken out the grill here. And um, yeah. This looks completely different as to how I dropped it off. It's been clean, um, and then once it has been wrapped, it's also going to be sealed so that there is no potential dirt that can happen to the car. And um, I'm loving the red. There's some white showing, which on the other side has been wrapped in black to hide it, which looks very, very classy, as does the colour. So obviously this material has been heated and put onto the car. There's still a whole load of processes to go through before it is completely finished. And one of them it needs to be completely reheated. Once the whole car's done, it gets reheated again. And then this is going to get machine polished and waxed and sealed so that it is well protected, but also brings out all of the color that is in this car because it is a very, very deep material. For a vinyl wrap, it is an incredibly deep red, which is something that I really, really wanted to push. Um, it's still white at the back here. The only two bits left to do are the two rear panels. The door is currently being done there. The other door, almost certain, is finished here. Oh yeah, it's finished. So we've now got a heater here that is warming the room. All of the doors are shut and it is heating up the room so that it is at the most optimum temperature to wrap the Lamborghini. And let's check out this TBR paint. Apparently it's like a 10 grand optional extra. We just had a lot of work done to it. Let's check that out. I'm not sure whether you can see that. I'm going to turn the light on. So that is seriously cool. There is now a door on my car. So me and Sam have just arrived Woo. to see the car. What do you think? What do you think? I think it looks awesome. I'm I'm can sit in the background. You can sit oh, in the background. I, I, I want that car. <laughs> I actually need that car. So day four, it looks and it is on. the final preparation. And it's so cool to have your new car next to it as well. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, yeah. It's just a project car that Aston Martin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's actually a Dub Customs project car. Not a single piece of white showing. This is what I'm most amazed at. From the doors, let's go into the door. Here. It just looks like it's come from the factory like that.
So now, with a two-hour gap from the last bit of filming, uh, we are literally ready to go. We've got all of the grills back in. We're just waiting for the wheels to come back there in gloss black, but you can see here, this is the rear. And we've got uh, the machine polishing and wax and sealant going on on the car. Um, but just look at the detail. You could not tell that this has been wrapped. I have not been so impressed by a wrap, both up close but from afar as well. Look, I'm going to open the door. Look! There is absolutely no white visible whatsoever. Whatsoever. Right, I've been taken out of the front to come in through the main entrance to see my car now that the wheels have been put on it. I'm not allowed to peek through the tunnel, apparently I have to go through, I have to go through here, so I'm not looking. And then we're over to it. Oh my god, look at those wheels. Holy shit. car to the Lamborghini as the Lamborghini that I bought from Southern Sky Motors is pretty much the same price as this they're both white and they've both kind of got a black roof as well so would I have the Lamborghini over this based on looks the Gallardo is a 10 11 year old car now um, and they facelifted it in 2008 which is what mine is even though it's a 2011 car the facelift happened in 2008 so that makes it seven nearly eight years old my facelift whereas this being a 2015 car is only two to three years old I think these cars came out in 2014 or they were launched in 2014 